In this video clip, we are going to explain to you how a change in the repo rate can affect the economy. Now, we've already explained it to you in previous video clips and also in the text that you have studied, but let's revise exactly how a change in the repo rate influences the inflation rate, because that is the main outcome why the Reserve Bank would want to change the repo rate. So if we have an increase in the repo rate, that will lead to an increase in the lending rates of banks. When the lending rates of banks increase, there will be a decrease in demand for loans. When there's a decrease in demand for loans, there will be a decrease in money creation. Less money will be created because there's less money available in the economy. People can obtain fewer loans. Consumption will come down. Investment will come down. In other words, those two together forms part of aggregate demand. So aggregate demand will come down, and that will result in it being more difficult for firms to put up prices. So the inflation rate should also come down. Right. So when the Reserve Bank puts up the repo rate, it will usually be in order to bring down the inflation rate. But now, of course, it's not only going to affect the inflation rate. Because it influences the real sector, because it influences consumption and investment, it, an increase in the interest rate can lead to a decrease in economic growth. So that is something that the Reserve Bank always have to keep in account. When they are increasing the repo rate, they have to take into account that the actions will also influence economic growth. And especially in a developing economy with a high rate of unemployment, this is something that is very important. So they have to be very sensitive to how an increase in the repo rate is going to affect economic growth and they have to make sure that it's really necessary to do that at this moment in time. Then an increase in the repo rate will also influence the inflow of foreign funds. Now why will that happen? When you are an investor, you want to put your surplus fund where it can earn the most interest. And therefore, if the interest rate in a country is put up, and therefore the interest rate, for instance, in South Africa, is maybe higher relative to the UK or to America, it is possible that investors from those countries will put their money into investment in our country. So therefore, a higher repo rate or a higher interest rate level can lead to an inflow of foreign funds. And these foreign funds that's available can once again stimulate economic growth and investment. So you can see that it's not always straightforward to look at the effect of a change in the repo rate. It can affect economic growth and investment in different ways. And all of those have to be taken into account when the Reserve Bank decides on the level of the repo rate. Because it influences the inflow of foreign funds, it will also affect the exchange rate of the domestic currency, of the RAND. Exchange rate.
of the land. When there are more foreign funds coming into the country, it means that there's a higher demand for RAND because the, you can only invest using RAND in South Africa and therefore the RAND will become stronger. And this will once again have an influence on the price that you pay for imports and, a pr and the price that um, your exports are going to cost. So the exchange rate of the RAND is another important factor that has to be taken into account when the central bank decides to change the repo rate. Right, so therefore, a change in the repo rate is not a decision that is taken lightly. Many factors are taken into account. They also take into account how it will influence variables in the future. This decision is taken by the Monetary Policy Committee so it's not just one person, it's not just the governor of the Reserve Bank that takes this decision. It's a committee that gets together and they consider many variables and the effect on many variables before they decide to change the interest rate. So you have to make sure that you understand exactly how a change in the repo rate can influence different variables in the economy.